God uses ordinary people to carry out his extraordinary tasks. Remember this week we've talked about Moses and we've talked about Joseph. Today I want to talk about and think about Daniel. Daniel was an ordinary man. Sure, he was smart, he was well educated, and he was probably financially pretty well off too. And he was certainly fit. But he was taken along with the Israelites to the land of Babylon and he was kept captive. But the king there wanted to use his talents. And if you remember the story, Daniel decided that he wanted to keep his fit shape. So he refused to eat the rich food and he ate instead vegetables and drank water. His time was important to him. Daniel spent his time in prayer. He was devoted to God and he never lost that. And then because of his prayer, he was thrown into a den of lions. Let's pause for a minute. What would you do if someone said you were gonna be thrown into a den full of lions? I would panic. I'd probably die before I even got in there from the fear. But Daniel didn't fear because he knew as an ordinary person, the extraordinary things God could do through him. And indeed, that's what happened. Not a hair on his head was touched. The lions didn't kill him. They lay down and went to sleep. He was taken out of the den. And because of that, King Nebuchadnezzar turned and became a believer in his God. God can do mighty things with us ordinary people. Are you willing to allow God to use you in extraordinary ways today?